guys to another week in my life. I hope this video finds you happy and healthy. I'm gonna to talk to you guys after my shift is done. I'm about to head off to work. It's about 6.15 in the morning. It'll be super quiet because my husband's sleeping upstairs, but I'll be way more energetic in 14 hours from now and I will talk to you guys then. Work is over. It's eight o'clock at night, 14 hours later. Welcome to the video. I'm so sorry I didn't intro the video this morning when I was at home. I just was trying to wake up and I was running a little bit short on time. So I wanted to properly introduce the video now. I'm much more awake now, obviously. <laughs> so yeah, welcome to another week in my life. Like the other videos. Gosh, you guys, this is the fourth one that I'm doing now. Wow. As I always say, time flies. So I'm gonna record a little bit every day of my week and then put it all in one video like the other videos. This week I wanna focus on nursing. I wanna give you guys kind of all the ins and outs of what I do as a nurse, how I prepare for my shifts, what I do after my shifts. I wanna show you even like what my stethoscope looks like. Um, I have to wear these, I accidentally brought these in the car. I meant to leave these in my locker, but I have to wear these goggles all the time at work and a simple mask and then at times an N95, depending on what's going on. In the other videos I already kind of showed you what I eat, but I'll dive into what I eat, how I stay high hydrated, my water bottle, kind of how I take care of myself during the week, uh, full work week. So if you're brand new here, welcome. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below for more healthy living videos. I upload one to two videos a week based on my busy ICU nurse work schedule. Some weeks are crazier than others. So I thought I was supposed to work tomorrow and I was supposed to work tomorrow, but uh, one of my coworkers needed to trade a day with me. So she's working for me tomorrow and I'm working for her on Wednesday because she needs Wednesday off. So I do have tomorrow off, which is kind of nice because I can chit chat more with you guys. So I'm gonna go home. Take a shower first, of course. I head straight to the shower when I get home, but just because of COVID, I don't wanna like spread anything around my house. So I head straight for the shower, get cleaned up, and then I heat up my dinner and eat my dinner. And then I go to bed. So super excited for this video, welcome. I'm gonna drive home. I will see you tomorrow. All right, so it's Tuesday. It's afternoon already. <laughs> the morning just flew by with all the computer stuff I had to do, but I'm now in my garage gym. As you can see, still as messy as ever. Um, but I'm kind of excited because this is my first workout that I'm gonna do in like almost two weeks because of this groin injury that I've been dealing with. Um, it's not gonna be like a full on workout like I normally do, so it's gonna be pretty modified because my groin's not 100% yet. Today's supposed to be leg day, but I don't wanna attempt like any squats or lunges or those kind of exercises. So it's gonna be um, the assault bike, cause that doesn't hurt me. And I'm gonna attempt a little bit of jump roping and see how my groin feels and how jumps feel. And I am gonna do um, some hip thrusts and see how that does with my groin. So glutes and cardio, you know, so we'll see how that goes. But um, after my workout, I do wanna show you guys all of my like nursing gear, all my nursing equipment. So what bag I take, I've been taking for years, what water bottle I take, that kind of thing, like the lunch box I have, and I don't know, some tips on how to make your nursing shift a little bit easier. I believe that my nursing shifts are easier because of what I take to work with me. So I wanna show you that after my workout. Okay, so my workout is done, and let me show you guys some of the items that I bring to work that makes my work life a lot easier and helps me get through my 12-hour shift so much easier. So, here, let me show you. So first of all, lunch bags. So I normally bring a Lululemon bag because it's just the perfect size. I can fit all of my lunch items in here. I can even fit like big containers too for salad and stuff. And the reason why I think it's so convenient is because you can like squish it down so it fits in like the work fridge. So that's a lifesaver for me. Um, since Josh is working from home most of the time, he let me use his lunch box. So I also bring this if I'm out of Lululemon bags. Um, and this lunch box he got off Amazon. And it's the same concept. It's actually a little bigger than the Lululemon bag. And I actually like this a little bit better because it's insulated. So it does keep your stuff kind of cold. It's not um, super thick insulation, but it does do the job. I still put it in the work fridge though. And it's cool because you can scrunch it down like this and then you clip it together so it stays scrunched down. And it has a little pocket in the back so you can put additional items in it. So it's a really nice size. 
has a little handle here. I'll put um, the Amazon link down below so you guys can check it out if you want to, but I really enjoy this bag. I really like it a lot. It's very convenient. Um, the other thing too is this little uh, pill container. Well, I think you can put dressings in it too and things like that, but I use it for my supplements. So I put all my supplements in here. It's perfect size and I take it with me so I can take uh, my supplements in the morning with my morning break with breakfast. Okay, the other thing too that I really, really like are these mugs. Now, I think we have four or five of these and they're super worn out. We need more. We've had them for, gosh, probably at least a year and a half to two years, but we use these every single day. And the reason why I really like them is because it keeps my coffee hot all morning. No joke, you guys. I put coffee in here, hot coffee about six in the morning in here, and it stays hot all morning. It probably doesn't start to cool down until about 10 or 11 in the morning. And it really saves me because I can't drink all of this quickly. So I can just sip on it throughout the morning and it keeps me caffeinated and I can still have my coffee. And this is the lid that comes with it. These are pretty affordable on Amazon. You can buy them individually or in packs. So I'll also put the link down below, but it's by this brand here. So really, really like these a lot. So you guys have heard me talk about this water bottle before uh, from Nalgene. This is their big size. I think it is 48 ounces. So I really like this size because I feel like if I can get through one of these in a shift, I'm not that dehydrated. I need more water than that in a day, but at least if I can get one of these in, I'm, I'm good. Uh, the other thing too, this is not from Nalgene, this lid. This is, you can buy this separately on Amazon. And the reason why I like it is because it's a straw. It's so much easier for me to drink water with a straw in general, but at work especially, see this pops up like this and you stick it in here. Like I said, you buy this separately from the Nalgene bottle. The Nalgene bottle comes with a lid, but it's just one of those like screw on cap things that, you know, then when you try to drink out of it, it spills everywhere. Um, I really like this because when I'm in a mask all the time, I can just take one ear loop off of my ear and then take a sip really easily and then put my mask back on really easily. So I really like this. I can still stay hydrated and drink my water very easily and just really easily take my mask off. So like this a lot. All right, you guys, so on to my work bag. I have had this work bag for so many years. I want to say I bought it in 2014, 2015. So it's at least six years old, seven years old. I got it at Target. I love this size. It's just like a taupe size bag. I believe it's actually a yoga bag, but there's the brand right there. I think you pronounce it Orla Kylie. Um, and I don't think Target sells this exact bag anymore because it's been so long, but I know they sell these size bags and that brand still. Um, and I know Amazon has these kind of bags too. So I'll find similar links on Amazon so you can check them out. But I really like this bag. I like that it's bigger because um, it fits my water bottle in there. I can even put my lunch bag in there if I want to. I normally don't do that. But I also like these size bags because um, it has these little pockets in here so I can fit my badge, you know, any accessory things that I need, lotion, chapstick, and then um, because I wear contacts, I keep contact solution in here. And this is just like a really nice reference book too. So I can keep all my stuff in here really easily and my wallet, um, and then my water bottle fits in here, like I said, really nicely and easily, and then it just slings over my shoulder. This also fits in my locker, and I have a really tiny locker, because I squished I swish this down, and it fits really nicely in my locker too. So I like this bag a lot. Like I said, I'll find a similar link to it. And I'm gonna take you guys over to my bedroom. I'm so sorry, I'm doing laundry. <laughs> but I wanna show you guys, I have it laid out for you guys. So first of all, compression socks, lifesaver for me. These are also super old. I have probably six or seven pairs of these and they're just basic compression uh, socks. And I got it at my local scrub store. I think it's Scrubs and Beyond. Um, you can also get them on Amazon too. I can put a link down below, but um, these have lasted a long time. I need new ones, but these really help with uh, preventing swelling in your legs from standing for 12 hours. And then the other thing that saves me are these long sleeve shirts. I get these at Costco. I always have a long sleeve shirt underneath my scrubs, except for the summertime when it gets super hot at work. Um, I 
forego the undershirt, but um, I really like these. They keep me warm. They're the 32 degree like heat brand. I wear a medium and I'm about like 5'4", 5'5", 135 pounds. So that kind of gives you an idea um, of what size to buy. Yeah, I really, really like these. These keep me warm, but not, it's not too hot. They really fit um, nicely and like mold to your arms really nicely but um, underneath your scrub so I get the I have the black kind the gray kind I have white also I believe and like a purplish color but these are really affordable at Costco they come in a two pack I believe they're in the maybe ten dollar range or so for two of them so super affordable <laughs> she's always there so that's the basics of what I take to work that really helps me out and in my 12 hour shift it makes my life a lot easier at work. So yeah, it's about like 3.30 in the afternoon. I'm gonna kind of get ready for the work day tomorrow. And so I will see you tomorrow. P.S. I will show you what my locker looks like at work and what I keep in my locker, kind of how I organize my life at work because that's also key in getting through a really long shift is what's in your locker. So I'll show you all that too. Um, not sure if it's going to be tomorrow or I also work Friday, so one of those days. So, just climbed up a bunch of stairs, but so I'm out of breath. But I'm in the parking garage, I'm getting in my car. It's a little bit later than I normally get off of work. It's about 8.15 at night. I want to show you uh, what I do before getting in the car. Lysol spray. <laughs> Since COVID hit, I've been doing this um, after every shift. So I just keep this in the front seat of my car and I lice all my shoes. So I just take the spray and I just do like all on the, kind of like all on the soles of my feet and the bottoms. I don't really do the tops, but sometimes I will. And then when I get in the driver's seat, I'll use hand sanitizer. So I know a lot of nurses will um, change out their shoes before getting in the car. I'm lazy, I don't do that. I just spray my shoes down really well with Lysol and I feel like that's good enough. And then I don't take my shoes all the way in the house. I just leave them at the doorstep as you kind of saw this morning, me getting my shoes on. And I think that's okay. Um, I also don't linger around the house. Once I get home, I go straight into the bathroom, take my clothes off and hop into the shower. Before COVID, I didn't do that. I would just eat my dinner with my scrubs on. Uh, but now I'm a little bit paranoid with COVID. I don't do any of that. I just straight head straight to the bathroom and take a shower and put my clothes in the laundry real quick. Um, but yeah, it was a good day and I just was kind of busy as always. Had one patient all day long, which is unusual. Normally I have two patients to start off with or three patients and give them away and take a, a fresh open heart patient from the OR to recover. But today I only had one really, really sick patient all day, which was kind of nice change a pace for me, but it was still a very busy day with that one patient. And then on Friday, I wanna show you guys my locker setup and I wanna show you my break room and everything that I can show you in the hospital. So. so it's already Thursday afternoon and I'm getting ready for work tomorrow. I wanted to show you guys what snacks I pack for my 12 hour shift because snacks is key, at least for me, getting through a 12 hour shift. I normally don't get my lunch break till later in the day and 12 hours is a really long time. So I normally don't get a lunch break until probably two or three in the afternoon. Most of the time I'll get a morning break to eat my breakfast, but it's just not guaranteed. So snacks for me is key. So I can just grab something if I'm starving and just put it in my mouth real quick and run out of the break room and go back to work like if I really need something to tide me over to my lunch break. So I wanna show you my favorite snacks that I bring to work that are really convenient and they're really nutritious and they do tide me over to lunchtime. And then also I don't end my shift till 7.30 at night so then I'm like really hungry by seven. So a lot of times I'll eat a snack like at 5 p.m. just to hold me over. And the other thing too is I try to prevent myself from like 
getting super, super hungry by the end of my shift because then I come home and just like eat everything in sight, which is not healthy because by the time I get home, it's eight o'clock and then after I take a shower and everything, I don't eat dinner until 8.30 or nine. And then to be super full trying to go to sleep is not healthy. So I think snacks is key to staying healthy on a long shift, whatever long shift that you work. So let me show you what I have going on. Got some dried mangoes here. Any type of dried fruit is a really quick source of sugar, natural sugar that's still nutritious. I just love dried mangoes. They taste like candy to me. So I just portion out a little bit in a container here. So I really like dried mangoes. I get this at Costco and they're organic, which is a plus. Bars, you guys, is key for me. Bars are super convenient. You just keep it in your pocket and then like whip it out if you need a quick snack. These two bars are my favorite. This one's vegan. Um, this one's not, of course, this one has uh, egg whites in it, but it is dairy free. So I like these two bars. Probably tomorrow I'll just take an RX bar. I like to have this, this is really like chocolatey and fudge tasting to me. So I like to have this as a dessert at night after dinner. The other thing that I bring a lot are nuts and cashews are my favorite nuts. So I'd put a portion in a container. Nuts are really high in fat and protein. So it does keep you full for a long time. And sometimes I'll just pair these two for a snack because you got some natural sugars and protein and fat. It really ties me over for a while. So nuts is key for me. And I get this one at uh, Costco, of course, really big organic container. And the other thing that I love, and a lot of times I'll eat these at night, but I've been bringing them to work as a snack. These are so good. Costco sells these plantain chips. They're really healthy for you. It's just plantains, coconut, and Himalayan pink salt. That's all that's in here. And they literally taste like kettle chips. So good, so healthy for you. So I just put some in a bag and um, this doesn't have much protein in it, so sometimes I won't bring them. I like to have my snacks that have like some protein in them, but I really like these to munch on. And then of course my staple, this is for my lunch, my salad, which I love arugula, it's my favorite salad greens. And then I always top it with some sort of like dried fruit on top. I like the sweetness paired with the salad. And then my dressing here that I make by myself. Maybe I'll show you guys that recipe in a little bit. I have a really old video on my channel showing me, I think it was my first video of what I ate in a day, of showing you guys how I make my dressing out of tahini. And then I top my salad off with a protein. I like these because they're really convenient. Um, you just open them up and just put it on top when you're ready to eat your lunch. I also bring, oh, and here's my veggies cooling for dinner. Um, I also bring like one of these because these aren't in cans. This is just in a like a really convenient package inside. So mackerel is really healthy, really high in omega-3s. Sometimes I'll bring sardines, which are somewhere back there. Yeah, and then even sometimes I'll bring tuna because you don't need a can opener for these. I get these at Costco. And then as you guys know, of course, with my coffee in the morning, I put two scoops of collagen peptides in my coffee, which is about 12 grams of protein. So with my coffee in the morning, I already start off with calories and protein because I'm not ready to actually eat food at six o'clock in the morning, but I do need my caffeine. So that's a little pro tip for you guys. And then I'm gonna see you tomorrow before work and after work. And tomorrow I'm gonna show you what my locker situation looks like. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, you guys, so it is now Friday evening. It's the end of my shift and I am leaving for the day. So this is our break room. Our break room on this particular evening is a disaster. I don't know why, it's normally not this messy looking. And good thing I am not a very big person because this is my locker and it's way in the corner here and it is tight back there. So I'm getting my bag out of my locker and as you can see, what I was mentioning before, it fits really nicely in my small locker because I can squish my bag down. And then I'm taking my stethoscope off and keep it in my locker. That's what it looks like, it's a maroon stethoscope. And then my goggles I keep in my locker and then the rest of my pens. And then I just have some reference papers, I know it looks kind of messy, but reference papers in my locker too just in case I need to reference something uh, about a particular machine or dialysis or something that I'm running getting on my jacket that coat rack is about to fall over we don't have enough coat racks in our break room and so everybody loads up their coats on that little coat rack and grabbing my lunch bag and I am headed out the door for the weekend
it's Saturday night, it's date night, and I always look forward to date night. And I just kind of wanted to emphasize since this whole week is like nursing themed, that it's important to be able to have something fun that you look forward to, whether it's date night, whether it's going out somewhere, whether it's, I don't know, even just going for a walk, which I haven't gone on my walk this week, so I really want to do that. So maybe tomorrow I can go on my walk if it's not raining and just, yeah, it's important to have something that you enjoy, that you look forward to, maybe an event or something like that, that just kind of balances out your work life because it is all about balancing your personal life with your work life, really helps with at least my mental health. We're gonna have fun tonight and that's it. I thought I would check in because all day today we've just been doing chores and errands and Josh had to do a real estate test because he's getting his real estate license again. He had it before, but he lost it. So he's getting it back and that's it. With every step you find yourself down a dark road With nothing left to second guess in tomorrow And what follows There's a story waiting for you in the distance Keep moving forward cause you don't wanna miss it Oh no, don't you miss it Never been so close So it's Sunday evening. I have been doing chores and stuff all day, boring stuff. So I haven't turned the camera on. Just did a hit workout in the garage. So sipping on some BCAAs. I'm in my exercise room, obviously. But I did my high intensity interval training in the garage. It's a good workout. Like I said, it was only 15 minutes, but got the job done, got my heart pumping. I got to stretch now. So the garage is just too cold to stretch. So I'm in my exercise room now. I'm going to stretch my body out. I was feeling my groin a little bit. So I really want to concentrate on stretching like my hips and stretching my legs. So I'm going to do that, but I wanted to close out this video. Thank you so much for watching you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this a week in my life. <laughs> so if you're a nurse, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you're not a nurse, well, hopefully you also found this video helpful. Give this video a like if you liked it because it really helps support me in the YouTube algorithms. And I will see you in the next video. The next video coming up in a few days will be an update on our unit that we're renovating. So stay tuned for that. And as always, remember to be kind to yourself.